Hey all lizards, welcome back to XCOM 2. Coming after that mission, we got a lot done, I gotta say. Uh, got ourselves a Codex Brain, got ourselves a couple of good things. Unfortunately, we got also got crit through full cover from max distance on the Gunnish. He'll be out for 17 days, but that'll give me the opportunity to rotate in some more folks. I'm not gonna try to heal him up super quick. Uh, but Seraph, Seraph needs a promotion. I've been thinking about Chain Shot and fifth minus 15, that's, that's a lot. That's a lot. When flanks aren't 100%, that's a lot. So what I'm gonna get is Volatile Mix. This would be amazing if you got an Advanced Warfare Center uh, perk on an Assault. That would be crazy, because shotguns from close range, even minus 15, are pretty close to guaranteed. That'd be insane amounts of damage. Uh, but on a Gunner, not as useful. We're gonna take Volatile Mix, because <laughs> more boom boom, baby! Yeah! Love it. All right. So. That being said, not much to do here. We're saving some of the supplies we have. Basically, we need 205 supplies in order to start building this power area and then also powering and upgrading the resistance comms so we can have another contact ready to go. We do have a bunch of intel, though, which I am going to utilize in a second. I'm going to get some supplies off, uh, off of Jimmy Hoffa, um, off of the black market, I think, which probably is a good investment, because I do want to buy a couple things, you, have delayed the alien's you know, efforts towards completing like Vulture. The Vulture I want really badly. Wet work would be good, too. Let us hope the asset you recovered will prove useful in uncovering the alien's plan. Alien alloys. All right, we could get alloys here. Uh, not now, though. What we're going to first do is finish this scientist distress beacon, because uh, that'd be nice. I would like to get this. New course. It would be very valuable to me. And then we can go to the black market, see if we can get some supplies for intel. Oh, power coil done. View room. 21 Illyrium crystals. Not too shabby. So over the power coil, significant increase to power output. 10 power. I think it's anything you build here is technically free, I guess, too. But that's huge. I do want to build my Scilab. I need supplies for that. I want supplies for everything. Man. All right, well... Uh, let's go on the power relay though, because I do need to expand my. Uh, yes, staff them there. Thank you. All right, the rest of y'all can start clearing this. Cause I do probably want another uh, workshop here to to double down on the Gremmies. Wouldn't be bad to staff a lot of stuff, and then so the rest of my engineers who are not doing anything. And start clearing this debris to get us stuff. And then only two of them can work on this. That's kind of perfect. Excavate, exterminate. So 10 days for 79 more supplies. I like that. I dig it. Daddy-o. Um, we're still waiting for the expansion here, but like I said, it is 125 supplies. We can't really just kind of go in and go crazy. But after that, I'm probably going to try and drop... If we have enough power here, which I think we should, um, I'm going to try and drop a Scilab down here and get that moving and be able to staff whatever I need. That way I have the power relay, the workshop. Staffing workshop with a drone would be interesting because then we could drone we could drone while you drone, basically. It would be fascinating. I don't know if that'll work out so good. Wait, can we do the workshop for yet another set of drones? I guess we can, technically. That'll be cool. Anyway, something to think about. But for now, though, we're going to keep digging through the debris. This is kind of what we do. We got another scientist, almost. Maybe we'll scan through and get that finally. Let's go. Yay! Nice. Dr. Fikri Fazil. Okay. Decreased by 14 more percent. Amazing. Let's go black market. Avenger plotting new course. So we will still got three pips away on the Doom Counter. We still have the uh, the white factory or black site mission that we can always do. Alien alloys, mutant corpus, and advanced autoloader stores. Uh, we may be able to get something out of that. Let's see. We're going to buy some supplies for intel. We have an excess of intel right now. We make pretty good contact with what we've got. We Remember, we still have another... Advent data slate we can decrypt for extra intel. So we're doing pretty well, and we're a little low on cash. So I do want this right now. So give me that. Ooh. Yeah, some of these are nice. Pure conditioning is huge on your assaults. Ah, damn. Hmm. Yeah. I would want to invest in this, but that's bringing my intel dangerously low. Dangerously cheesy. Probably get intel for more stuff, and these are really good. I mean, put this on your top tier assault, and he's pretty much all right. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna cave in, and it leaves me with 63 intel. It's probably enough to make contact somewhere on some planet. Ah, oh, hell, let's do it. This is really good. Spear conditioning is huge. Okay, good. We could sell some stuff for credits as well. 
I may sell muton corpses. We have a couple of those bastards, don't we? Unless we need them for other stuff. That's the other issue. We can probably sell for a little bit. But let's get back to the uh, Sky Ranger for a second and estimate what we need to buy. I do want to buy Vulture, and I do also want to buy Wet Work from not the AWS. Now, we still have the officer training upgrade to the Guerrilla Tactics School, which we haven't uh, even delved into because we haven't had the money or time for it. But I do want Vulture getting more stuff to sell. Could be really useful. Don't really care about Lightning Strike. Still need 125, so we could potentially sell a couple Mutant Corpses or a couple other, like, Advent Mook Corpses. And all these are good. I mean, Explosion can crit, yes. Plus three against Flanks, yes. Like, all these I want, honestly. Like, all these I want. More likely to bleed out than die out, right? I mean, that'd be nice because I've never seen them bleed out before. PS bonus, like, all these are so good. And 125 for wet work. I can't really afford that. At 60, I'd need to make 60 more effectively. No, nah, it'll be 63 is what we'd have left. So I need to make, yeah, 62 more. If I want to spend it on this. Oh, God. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how the research works here, though, with, like, all the corpses and stuff. So I'm not really entirely certain whether it's a good investment for selling that stuff now or I need them for, like, more advanced armor suits later or something. You say, I have a feeling like mutons are very armored, so maybe I don't want to sell these yet. Maybe I'm being weird about that, but I don't know. I don't know the game well enough. That's pretty much my issue right now. I don't want to sell that because that's a good, good bit of intel that we're gonna need at some point. So you know what? I'm actually kind of content on this. So that's all right. Let's. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, we do have. We don't have the bonus from Asia yet. Spare parts. All program hardware costs reduced by 50 percent. Ah. So it may behoove me to make a uh, alien relay, or another relay here. Where's a good one? We have one in East Africa already. Yeah, we have a radio tower. We have one in East Asia. Oh no, we don't have one in East Asia. We could do one in the new Arctic. This is gonna help us expand to North America, I guess, and it'll make all contacts cheaper. We could invest 50 supplies in that. That may be worth it. Uh, yeah, I think it may be worth it. So let's go to the new Arctic and build one of these things. We are sitting East Africa has one or South Africa has one. South Africa has a tower East Africa does not so we already have one here we could build one here but that's already Africa we still want this bonus I mean this is nice because if I'm shining supplies it wouldn't be bad 50 of investment is pretty good so since we're not going in on the black market let's see if we get the supply let's see the alloys we did spend a turn here so this sticks around then we know that's how it works but I do feel like building something in the new Arctic probably makes sense, because the only way to contact is through East Africa anyway. How much do we need to make contact to this place? What does it cost? 40 intel, yeah, cancel that, don't worry about it. So yeah, we could definitely make the contact we need and then bump that. We also have this one. This is minus three as well when you raid that facility. So I think this makes sense. But the problem is the Western US, how much does it cost to contact this off the cuff? Commander, this is 80 right now, intel. We don't have enough intel to yeah. Get a solid bearing on the local And then we could potentially help that, that out a little bit. Yeah, okay, so you know what? I'm going to build a radio tower here, and that's going to give us more money and also give us the spare parts bonus, which will be cool. So let me do that. Let me see if I can't start the isolated haven alloys thing. Maybe that'll course. stick around too, who knows. And that'd be nice. It's a bit of infrastructure work here. A bit of infrastructure work. So we got Illyrium. This outcome, though it is intriguing. Okay, codename Mjolnir. All right, Illyrium one one five. Fine, fine, fine. Illyrium conduit. Okay, not sure what that is. Plasma rifle and powered armor. Ooh. Oh, I guess we can upgrade the power relay. Okay, interesting. We could do that to get the intel. Plasma rifles, that's cool. Powered armor, hmm. I do, I do really want that. Let's see. The cache is five days and alien encryption is four days. Um, hmm. I wonder what I should be doing. This is an easy one. Oh, good God. Uh, but what's the difference? There's a good question. What's the difference between like powered armor here? And the armor researching in the proving grounds. Leave anyway. Proving grounds. Without access to refined fossil fuels, power is difficult to come by outside the cities. Yeah, like Even among the we have experimental armor here. Recovered advent. Uh, maybe it's experimental armor plating. Hey, Commander. Oh, that may be it actually. Maybe experimental armor plating. In which case, I'm less excited about that 
then yeah okay maybe that's what it is and if someone knows that this is just like experimental armor plating then I wouldn't be too happy about that if I spent a core on it luckily it's lower in the queue looks like the actual armor research is yes, gonna be ahead. here so I feel like doing this I mean this is a good investment I mean I, do, I want plasma rifles too like oh my god I want this but I think powered armor would be cool and it's 11 days off and this would be huge another big squad upgrade keep everyone really survivable yeah let's research that I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming and just in case that is what I think it is I want to get experimental armor off complete. of here for just now give the word and I'll get yeah. started, Commander. cancel that that'll be all right okay let's get back to it Tiger got me distracted with all his like we are researching now supply drop right after that okay good so we'll give us some time uh, let's see if we can't get the alloys and see if that one sticks around. Looks like it may. Strategic resource nice. Located. All right, cool. That's fine. Let's go to the new Arctic then and build a uh, relay tower. 75 supplies. Okay, so we are going to need a little bit of money off of the uh, the black market, but that's okay. Install the relay. Setting course for the Arctic territory. Two to four days won't take that long, and that'll be all right. Four days. Oh, I, why couldn't it be two? Blue screen protocol. So what do we got for blue screen? EMP grenade. Ooh. Wreak havoc on the Delco Electronic Systems. Become a robotic enemy. Dealing considerable damage. Potentially running inoperable. Organic enemies completely immune. All right. Makes sense. An EMP. Blue screen rounds. Implicable computing phenomenon coming for the war. Blue screen rounds. Ha 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 ha. BSOD, baby. Wreak havoc on target electronic systems. Cool. So I have those now, I guess? I think I have those now, which is cool. Advanced explosives is not... I mean, I want so many things. It's just... Oh, it's ridiculous. Let's finish this skull mining. Let's do the battlefield medicine. Someone can tell me what the hell the experimental armor means. Hopefully not just an armor plating that sucks. Yeah, skull jack is fine. We can make more of these, but I think we might go directly into experimental heavy weapons after that, just for shits and giggles. That sounds like a whole lot of fun. And how is our... Our power relay is almost done here. That's good. Oh, we got a lot of things going on. So, view mission. What do we got? Oh, right here. Extract VIP from Advent City. And again, Amitabh Shah, the engineer of 103 Intel Persuasion. Okay, that works for me, actually. Uh, yeah, let's strike the VIP. Launch that shit. I like it. I like it. Very difficult again. No, no, no. What I meant... Not what I meant to do. No, no, no. This, this... No, no, no. That mission. Yeah, yeah. Just this. Just this. Just, just, just this. Yeah, yeah. We're doing, we're doing right. Yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so Gunash Wolf is a little out of it. That's okay. This is going to be another mobile mission, I think. So we can't um, take what I want to take, which is our extra sharpshooter. All right, Mary, get in here. Seraph, get in here. And Goddess, get in here. And what is the last slot going to be taken up by? So we don't have a good hack specialist. If only gave us a mission that wasn't like very difficult, huh? Yeah, whatever. We have our veteran crew here. We're going to obviously kit out Saint with the PCS for survivability. Because this dude, we got to get a little bit more of that. So superior conditioning makes sense to me. Yeah. He needs to tank up a bit. I like that. And then... Yeah, who do we put in the last slot? It's a good question. Uh, what would I want on this mission? Basically, we're losing a little bit of the variable ass-covering functionality of another specialist. We have, we can go double ranger, and double ranger wouldn't be bad if we're committed to a really, really aggressive move. We can just drop everyone before anything happens. What I wanted to do was take maybe uh, our extra sharpshooter out, but again, the difficulty of this mission almost precludes that capability. So I'm going to take double double ranger here. Let's take Gypsy out on the, on the path to righteousness. All right. Sounds good to me. Wolf's rocking on Fury. Is there something we can upgrade the weapon with, or is it already totally... Totally locked down. Expanded mag and scope. Yeah, no, we're fine. All right, cool. Um, we have Angry God. We have Stocky Scope. We do we have Special Mag Cannon on you? That's what I need to figure out. This is the this is the good one. We really should rename the damn weapon, but uh, I haven't gotten around to it. I was called Mary's Gun or something. That'll be <laughs> that's probably appropriate, honestly, at this point. All right, weapon upgrade. No loadout. Yes. No, it is weapon upgrade. Damn it. I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm learning. No, she has a basic one. So why did it tell me that it had stuff on it? No, no, she's not a, It has stuff. I know it does. 
Come on. Don't lie to me now. Alright, that's frustrating. Because it does say we have the mag cannon loadout, right? It has the stuff in the corner. That one. That's what I need. Now we got it. It wasn't loaded. Okay. My mistake. My mistake. Auto loader and scope weapon name. Mary's gun. Gun, not Gunesh. I know we miss him. I miss him too. All right, auto loader. That makes sense. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Is there anything I want to tweak on GFC shard gun? Is the question. I do have a couple things sitting around that may be worthwhile. We got advanced auto loader. That's going to be for our next sniper gun, I think. Advanced expanded mag. Also probably for our sniper. Advanced hair trigger. Yeah, why not? Let's put this on. I wouldn't mind the crit, the additional crit, but I think this makes sense. The advanced hair trigger on this thing? Uh, yeah. I think hair trigger is great for a shotgun. And now we're gonna name this one Harry. Uh, weapon upgrade. Name Harry. Very good. Okay. So that's a really hairy gun. And we'll be fine. Okay, so what's our loadout? Now that we don't have Gunesh, we need to make the utility items available, because we do need to run a mimic beacon on somebody. I guess it's gonna be on Gypsy. We're on the Mimic Beacon here. We won't have the Skull Jack. And we don't have the additional hack abilities. There's no point to that. Explosive and Mimic. Explosive and Healing. Good. This is Flash, I think. Is that a Flashbang? I can't tell the difference between that and a freaking Smoke Grenade sometimes. Flashbang, yes. Good. Flashbang makes sense. The Acid Grenade. We had high explosives on Saint along with the Heavy Weapon. And Wolf is still rocking his Tracer Rounds. Okay. This looks pretty good. I do also kind of want to get my battle scanner out. Hmm. Because that would be very, very, very useful. Because especially on a mission with intel like this, like, we don't have a lot. But, I mean, we're always moving so fast, there's basically no time. You know what? Screw it. Let's just go in it, and I think we'll be fine. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, yes, you have the... Climbing rig... You have a climbing rig. All right, good. And the Saints got the exosuit. Yep, let's rock and roll. Just making sure. I mean, I'd hate to go out of this mission half cocked or fully cocked. Or... Nah. It would be unfortunate, is what I'm saying. Sky Ranger deployed. Sky Ranger deployed. Just so like pejoratively. Sky Ranger deployed. Let's see if I care. Yeah. I'm just an AI. I don't care. We're moving in. Sky Ranger. Whatever. Let's so deliver VIP. Okay, good. But the rest is up to us. Locate the VIP and escort them out of the area safely. Goes without saying, but don't leave any hostiles standing. Sir, yes, sir. Sapporo. Why is Sapporo in like the Russian far north? Sapporo is definitely in Japan. Unless they moved Sapporo because the, the aliens thought it'd be funny to relocate Japan to the freaking tundra in Siberia. Doesn't look very Siberian. Doesn't look very cold up there. Maybe it's like the geo-changed things? I don't know. Maybe they're doing some climatology stuff we're not aware of. Whatever. They'll figure it out. The one downside, of course, is that we don't have any kind of disabling mechanism. We'll get there. Menace 1 5, target coordinates incoming. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Alright, so luckily we don't have to extract the VIP from Sad anywhere. Already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. And how do we get up on this building? Let's plan this out just a wee bit. Uh, there's a pipe there. Wolf can grapple. That seems to be the only way up to extract is that pipe. Okay, fair enough. So what we're probably going to do is get up to roof height as soon as possible. Make sure that we can get up here without too many issues. Get the superior aim and bonuses and not get shot off the roof and kill anything. And skirt the edge of the map. This looks like it could be a pretty decent setup for an extract mission. We can kind of skirt the edge, get up here and just get the hell out. But of course, you know, XCOM. Things can go horribly, horribly wrong, so let's get moving. Saying, alright, tell me... I mean, I was gonna say, tell me something good. Just tell me what's up here. How's it there now? Okay, it looks like we're more or less clear on that. Again, we're not concealed, so we gotta be a little careful with our movements. Let's see, Saint, do you see anything up here that may be worth mentioning? Moving out. Let's 
So he's got 60 hit points of one armor. I'm pretty confident in that. So it looks like we can pretty much rush people up here. We have 12 turns. That's not bad. That's actually quite a lot of time. It's not excessive, but sufficient. Right, let's go. On the move. Looks like Vigilance wore off, too, which is really, really nice. Um, because Saint doesn't have that massive, like, people can see you better. We just have Midnight Raids active. See that? It is nice. They don't tell you that it wears off, but eventually it wears off, I guess. Someone did probably mention that at some point. I'm just, I don't listen so good. Okay, I do want Wolf up here, uh, for obvious reasons. I would grapple up to make this faster, but I want to save the grapple when we really, really need it. Like, that's the only place you can get with that perfect shot. All right, Gypsy, get yourself. I'm a little worried about revealing on that corner. Who else? We still have the, uh, the remarkably well-dressed engineer again, or scientist. It's an engineer. It's an engineer. We have a history of really well-dressed engineers, I gotta say. Look at that. Look at that suit. That is cut sharp as a razor. I gotta get me something like that, man. That's just, it's just good. It's just good. That's where we recruit for XCOM. We're like, how good is your suit game? It's like, it's all over. All right. That's cool. That's cool, I guess. All right. Double time. We are yellow moving here. We want to get off the low ground. We'll have decent aim bonuses from high ground. It'll be good, and we'll kind of scoot around that way. And we can just drop off this building. I think even our action scientist or action engineer can drop off this building if need be. So we can probably make our way across. Yeah, there's even like a medium level. So we can definitely drop off this and get to this position. It'll be a bit of a fight over that open ground. We should be okay. So planning phase complete. Let's just keep moving. No need to keep go, reconsidering go, go. our options. I'm glad we could have gotten to this roof early. That was advantageous to have Saints as a phantom scouting for us. I mean, the downside is that now the uh, advent, well, soon to be XCOM engineer just kind of sitting there blocking the ladder. He'll be the first one up, but at least that way Saint won't pop vision on something. Okay. So, um, I'm not very up on the sounds that a lot of the units make here. So, I heard something that sounded mech-like or maybe like exosuit-like. Wow, really? Nothing? Sick. Alright. So, you keep your ass moving. Makes you realize how much I valued Move that extra intel position. from the scanning protocol. It was, it was good. And this is like solar panels, I think, or something? Doesn't look like an actual window window, so that's fine. That means we can get through pretty well. Saint, I gotta be a little careful on. I don't want him to necessarily trigger right now. That would suck. Okay, it doesn't look like anything's out there right now. Alright, well. We're just gonna keep taking high ground after high ground then. Who's next up on the queue? Gypsy. Looks like it's nice and steady. So we don't get into trouble. Very good. And we're just gonna keep rolling across. Slow start to the mission. I like this. This gives us time to relax, reevaluate, make sure we're making all the right decisions, and booking like crazy to the extract. I like this a lot. This is nice. I want more missions like this. Just to watch it all goes to hell, and I'm like, no, 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 no. Never mind. Not that part of the mission. I hate this mission. I want to go home. But for now, it's good. I like it. Mary, up here. Seems doable. It better be doable. Not very hard. What I'm asking you to do. Stand up there. And goddess, last but not least, get up here with your drone. Sure thing. Hell yeah. I oh, you said that with such confidence. Sure thing. Got this shit. All right. So we have a hack tower. This is probably not going to work, but we can see what it is at least. Infiltrating access. What point. is the bonus we could acquire from said hack tower? Can we please see? Initializing. Initializing. Deception. Ooh. Eighty-seven percent chance too. That's nice. I will keep that shit in mind. Um, okay, wow, that's really, really good. Cancel that, because that's going to be very, very, very useful uh, later. An 87% chance means it's pretty good. I don't want to necessarily trigger anything now. Hey, it's Mary's face on the... Uh... <laughs> Have you seen this woman? Um, let's go... There could be something out here still, so I'm going to keep this... Copacetic by keeping in a line. Saint hasn't seen anything, and he would be our point on this, but we're going to keep taking as much Whatever distance as possible. Say. So, if we need to get a lot of different corner positions here, we can. Um, goddess, come up 
here. No, Mary. Mary, come up here. That's fine. I can handle that. So I want to just get people in good, happy places. Happy little trees. I do kind of want Wolf on this corner, but I'm worried that there may be something sitting right there. And if I trigger it, it's we're all going to be yellow moved out, so I can't take okay. that risk now. Bump, bump, shaw. All right, just go here. We'll get you there soon, buddy. We have ways of making cover. Oh, we have ways. All right. Good enough. Let's see what the aliens do. Quiet. Do you hear something? Okay, there's something probably in the building or coming up the ladder here. Oh, hi, mech. Got some admin here. So we got double mech here? That's fascinating. And we have Overwatch first. Oh, that's cute. So I'm not entirely certain. This mech is... Where the hell are you standing? And what else is active? There's something else in here. I have no idea what it is. I'm going to get an eye on it. So very weird activation. Mechs have some serious armor. And this mech is unfortunately an overwatch. We can end that quickly with an acid grenade that wrecks his armor. Can we do it on both? Oh, we can do it on both. I want to get the acid volume so I can actually move at these guys without having Saint, like, running through this and burning to death. Can we do that in some way? Just help Saint out a little bit? This tells me this is going to get affected by the acid, right? Like, that's a guarantee, I think. Yeah, probably. I think that's fine. But I'm not sure. The biggest concern, like, it feels like that should go there. Yeah, it should go there. Alright. I see the red. That means it's probably just an incorrect animation of where that thing is actually standing. Um, Alright, let's do it this way. Do it the fun way. Get the acid on everybody, and then let's go to town. Mm. Chewing armor is fun. And just when I took my non-hacker specialist, <laughs> we have mechs with crap tons of armor that I would love, 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 love to deactivate, but we can't. Alright, so, what else can we do here? Wolf's got the shots, got the shots, and we're probably gonna depend on that. I'm gonna depend on Seraph Shred a little bit to make this happen. He does have Volatile Mix as well, so I could Plasma Grenade both of these punks and have them drop through, and probably kill most of them. It's just, it'll kill the back way of us coming out of here. But it may also give us intel as to what's below us. This will probably kill that mech and shred that guy to the point where he's going to be unnecessary. Why did I leave Seraph out there like that? I sincerely hope it's not going to cost me. really should have moved him first. I just got excited about wrecking stuff. Okay. Do we see that guy, other guy in the building or not yet? Is the mech fell? Oh, there's a muton here suddenly. The hell just happened. What? So Muton teleported up. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. This is new and interesting. I mean, this... Okay, this is not good. But Wolf can get here. This is not in the acid volume, and we could do some face-off work. Because then we could drop the mech. The muton is still a problem, because I've just used all my major um, armor-destructive abilities. And that doesn't make me very happy. I still have Saint's Rocket, which is going to be critical. What the hell, man? Uh, it's just these activations. It's just really, really weird right now. I'm not very pleased. Right, I want to get Wolf in that corner here, because this is going to give him vision on... No, no, which corner? This corner? It's going to give him an all three, allegedly. And then we'll be able to drop the armor here. Probably able to kill them all easily. Yeah, that's probably my best move here. I'm trusting you here. And we still know what was inside the building. What's this guy? That's the mech. Why can't I see the mech? It said I would see the mech. The mech is out of range for me. That's frustrating. It said I would see him, though. Line of sight indicator, you lie. Like a dirty monkey. Alright. Um, I could put Goddess out there, but that's a little dangerous for her. 
how's that mech out of range for me? That's frustrating. The mechs do a crap ton of damage. It needs to die. Don't have much use for Gypsy out here this far down. It doesn't give her any vision anywhere. Oh, I don't like this at all. I really don't like this. And Saint's kind of in the same boat. He's a little far away to be useful in the way I want him to. So this is this is problematic. Officially now problematic. Oh, fuck. Okay. So we can go here and drop the plasma here. Wolf is slightly less useful now. This, I don't understand why Wolf can't see this. And if I can't see the mech, I'm gonna have a serious problem. This tells me it's squad sight away, and it's not squad sight away. All right. I'm not happy, but I understand. Absolutely. Let's go here, and let's get, yeah, th that's not what I care about. I care about this. I care about dropping the Muton's armor. Maybe dropping him down a little bit. And the wolf can probably handle that feller pretty well after that. I'm a little worried about Seraph as well, because that's making making me twitch a little. I left him out in the open and expect yet another pack to occur. Muton unfortunately dropped down into full cover. No, he would drop into flank zone, which is good. Oh, I can't see that guy. Oh, that mech is gonna really. That may cost me, unless I use Saint to drop a grenade on here. I'm regretting... Oh, no, we have a plasma here. Never mind. Okay, no, we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay. Maybe. Also, don't know. There's, I think there's something else still on the bottom of the building, which I'm not too keen on. So, let's get... Yeah, I think we need to start this off with what I've been saying, and that's wolf shooting things. We can drop that guy right off the bat. So, let's get 100% on that fellow. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna do this the right way. Are you quick drawing or did you move already? You moved already, so I have the lightning hands and face off. All right. There's a chance I might not kill that guy though with ah balls. All right. So we probably have to guarantee the kill with lightning hands here, and then it'll be a shame. But I may not face off, but that's okay. Let's get the lightning hands here. I need to guarantee the muton's death, otherwise the grenades gonna be a problem. There's the crit. Check it before you get too close. I'll take a standard pistol shot, as I accidentally didn't do last time, on the advanced advent trooper. The flanks could be very real here, because of the way this spawn came up. Uh, the height in this game has some serious, serious issues, and uh, we obviously need to deal with those now because of this retarded positioning that we're in. I do think I can just pitch a grenade, though, down on that mech. Why is this flanked? By what exactly? Oh, the, the Advent Soldier, right. Can you pitch a grenade from where you're at? Because then I could probably just put her here and toss the grenade onto the mech and we'll be all honky-dory. Hey. Can we go? No, we need to get... Oh, maybe. We kill a civilian. I'm not... Ex that's not acceptable. We're not... We're not crazy terrorists. We just want to... This mech, if it moves, may take fatal damage. It may take lethal damage. Remember, it's still acid-burned. So that leaves Gypsy as probably the ideal candidate to run up here and toss a grenade at... Oh, I know what I can do. We'll just move the... Yeah, that's it. We'll just move the uh, critical personnel away. And then we'll toss a grenade that way. Perfect. No, that's fine. So we'll move uh, Mr. Amitabh Shah down this way. Oh, what the hell is that now? There was something with 20 health there. Okay, that's fascinating. Is it active? I don't know. What is it? I don't know. Could it be a berserker? Maybe. This is awfully strange to me now. This is a strange new world we're living in. All right. Here Gypsy, get over here. Yeah, what is that? What is that? What is that? That looks like... That looks like... An Archon, I think. Okay. This is fascinating. Can we hit the mech and guarantee a kill? We can. Alright. So the question is, do we do the mech? Or let him die to acid burns, potentially. Or get Saint up here to take the shot, kill it, and then run back. That may be best. Let's, can we toss the plasma on this guy? We can. Alright, so he's pretty much guaranteed dead. The floor, floor's gonna go out from under him. And he's gonna take lethal damage from the grenade anyway, because this is minimum five. So let's do that. 
Hey, if you got the grenades, use them, right? Always welcome. Your corona cor. So loot destroyed. It's a shame, but okay. So is this guy active or not? He may be active. This could be part of the other pack. Okay. So I gotta think. Okay, so he may actually go after my. I, that's really not cool because I did not see that activation. So this mission may be a failure now because I didn't know this one active. And Sarah's also in a really bad spot. Okay. So I don't know if that thing is active. That's my biggest problem is the way these things just activated this round. It's very weird. In which case, the Mimic Beacon would have been the smarter choice, but I had no idea that was actually a thing. Um, wow. This is not really leaving me with a lot of options. If we can go down here, drop this guy, probably for a near... Say it has a shot from here? Okay, sight lines are severely borked in this game. But remember, Implacable gives me a hit and run, basically, so we can hit and then run. And maybe do something good and hope we can just weather the storm. Yeah, let's go. And we don't have a shot from here. Really? Alright, so we can score a kill with a... Alright, this... Alright, really? Okay, you know, Saint's gonna go loud. It's okay because nothing makes sense anymore and the world is a lie. Let's go right there and kill the mech. Is that a guaranteed damage here? Because I don't trust XCOM 2 anymore. Like, at all. This should be an extra move because of Implacable. More mech. Don't really care. We get Saint for the I'm bonus move on Implacable. Okay. And now this is going to get interesting. So I'm not sure what that Archon's going to do. If it's active or not. They're moving to flank me. No, Stun Lancers. Shit. Don't even know how much damage that was. So Archon is not active. Archon is not active. How bad is Mary hit? Badly. She got hit for seven, so she's gonna be out for a little while. That's not so good. And this Archon here... Wow, this game is so bizarre. Okay. Well, we can drop this fellow no problem. The flank was unfortunate, but we have healers. I've just got to figure out what this game has decided to throw me, because if this is an active Archon, we got to deal with him quickly, because he's going to wreak havoc on us, and if this is going to be a game of roofs, then it's going to be a game of roofs, and we're going to have a fourth pack after this. We only have nine turns to get to Extract. Things are getting hairy, folks, and the game isn't even telling me what I need to be doing. Luckily, our VIP is still alive. Mary's got armor. We have healers. We have the technology to make this come out, so I will pick this up next time. And hopefully all these demented sight lines will fix themselves. I have been Nurse of XCOM 2, and I'll see you all then. Till then.